Hi Life Spring. Uh, hi everybody out there in virtual land. I was just uh, thinking about the fact that we've got yet another three weeks of lockdown and I was thinking about the pressure that that puts on families and people um, stuck in their own homes. I don't know if you were noticing um, similar to me in the news about this increase in domestic violence. Um, Berkshire Women's Aid has had a significant increase in calls to their helpline and that's something dear to my heart because I worked for Berkshire Women's Aid for five years, about 15 years ago. And also, really sadly, there's been an increase in suicide attempts as well. So today, Life Spring, um, and anybody else out there who gets this little video, I was just going to say, I really want to encourage you to pray. When you go out for a walk, go out for a run, pray for your street, pray for your block of flats, um, pray. Because, you know, Jesus tells us, doesn't he, in James, that the prayers of a righteous person are incredibly effective. And just today I've been, I'm doing uh, the Gospel of John for my Bible study and I'm actually on John 17 where Jesus prays. And I notice the thing that he prays is, Father, would you keep them from the enemy? So I just want to encourage you, this is enemy attack, isn't it? Violence and despair. So I really want to encourage you, pray and ask God to keep the people in your street, the people in your block of flats, the people in your town um, from the enemy. And the other thing it was making me think about was the pressure of being in lockdown it means all these things are bubbling up inside us that we don't normally deal with or we're not normally aware of because we're distracted. And I thought one of the things that might be coming up for people is anger. And uh, anger is often there as a symptom of something else. And I guess what I want to encourage you is to come and spend some time with Holy Spirit and say, what's, what's actually going on here? God, I, I'm getting angry. And ask him because it's time to deal with it. So sometimes fear, um, fear is the reason that we're angry. So the Holy Spirit might want to show you some fear. Secondly, f anger can be there because there's unforgiveness. So it may be there's issues, past issues that you haven't really looked at and chosen to forgive. So again, I want to encourage you. That's something Holy Spirit can help you with. Um, also, I guess you know, we can get on each other's nerves a bit being stuck in the house all day. So it's really important to keep short accounts, deal with things before the sun goes down, um, learn not to take out our frustrations on those around us by really asking Holy Spirit to live in us and flow through us and give us that self-control we need. Um, the other thing is with uh, anger, it can be that we've given the enemy a foothold, so again, Holy Spirit, is there some way I've been agreeing with the enemy? Is there a lie I've been believing? Um, is there a sin that's allowed him in? And um, that's fueling this anger. So, Father, just show me that. And I guess as well, you know, we're frustrated, aren't we, being stuck in the house? So, Holy Spirit, can you lead me? Is there a project I need to just get stuck into? You know, shall I paint that ceiling, mend that shower? sort out that broken tile, um, you know, organize all those photos, but ask Holy Spirit to give you a project, something to get stuck into. Um, and I guess the other reason why you might be struggling with anger is because there's something you should be angry about. There's something that's not right. So again, don't be passive aggressive. Don't be aggressive. Be assertive about it. Ask Holy Spirit, what is it? And confront it and deal with it. So, yeah, can feel that there might be that pressure going on and just that God wants to help you. And I guess the other thing I'm going to say is be real about it. Call on your friends. Call on God. Be accountable to somebody. I just notice in myself that God is bringing things to the surface and going deeper with me. And so I just want to encourage you from somebody who used to be an angry person 
and God has done an amazing work in me. And if you want to know my story, come on our healing encounter and I'll tell you all about it. But that there is freedom from anger and you don't have to struggle with it. So be encouraged. Um, give thanks. God wants to help you with that. Yeah, hang on in there, Lifespring. Take care. Bye.